So something that we all need is mail merge. You don't even realize you need it and you totally need it. Mail merge allows you to send personalized emails out but not having to write a personal email to every person. So you wanna send every parent in your class, hi, parent's name, we're having back to school night. Well, you don't wanna write this 30 times, or in the case like me as a high school teacher, you have way more than 30 that you need to send out. So you want it to sound personal, but you don't wanna write them individually. That's what Mail Merge can do for you. So you have a list of all the parent names, the student names, the email addresses, and maybe you have some information about the student. Do you want to send out an email that says, hello, parent name of child name. Your child's parent-teacher conference is on date at this time. And right now they have this many missing assignments. And I look forward to talking with you. Kansas wind. So mail merge is going to be really helpful because you can have all that information for all your students in a spreadsheet so you have their name how many missing assignments they have what their overall score is parents email whatever that you want to be able to communicate but for each student so you're going to personalize that email but not have to write them out individually one at a time if you've never used mail merge before you will see that this is something you will use all the time especially if it's easy. So I use the Mergo mail merge template so I can take my parent names and email addresses or my student names and email addresses or my staff names and email addresses or whoever it is that I want to send out a personalized mass email to. I just have that listed in a spreadsheet. So then you're going to go into Gmail and you're going to create a template. Now everywhere that you want to say something uh, generic, Right? Hi, name. That's where you need a merge tag. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm in a weather video. That's where you need a merge tag. A merge tag is that generic spot where you're going to replace it for each person. So it's going to say, hi, name. Your child's name is, your appointment is at date. Every time that you have that custom spot is where you need a merge tag. Now for Mergo, what you want to use is double curly braces. So it's curly brace, curly brace, your merge tag, curly brace, curly brace. That is right above the quote. It's to the right of the P key on your keyboard. It's that curly brace. You'll have to use the shift key, not the bracket, but the curly braces, and you're going to use double of those. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing you're going to do is make your email. So I'm going to come over to Gmail. I'm going to compose an email. And in the subject line, I want to put a subject title. I'm going to do curly brace, curly brace, first name, curly brace, curly brace, your back to school appointment in room, curly brace, curly brace, room, curly brace, curly brace. So notice I'm putting in these merge tags. It says first name. I'm putting in the merge tags. I'm going to come down here into the body of the email. And say hello, curly brace, curly brace, first name, curly brace, curly brace, curly brace, curly brace, last name, curly brace, curly brace. We are having back to school night. Now you're able to customize this email however you want. So notice I'm going to say it's Wednesday at 3 p.m. And then I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to make the font larger. And then I'm going to add in a fun bitmoji for back to school. So I'm going to be able to put my graphics, I'm going to make my fonts the regular size. I'm going to design this email just like I would any email that I would make. And I'm going to say, thank you, first name, right? So notice that I have used the same merge tag, first name, first name. First name, you, so long as you have the same tag multiple times, it's going to replace and put that person's name in there every time you have the tag. Okay, so that is just part of it because then you have to have some spreadsheet. You have to have a Google Sheets that has this first row is your column headers. Now, this is really essential. Your column headers have to match your merge tag. Has to match your merge tag. So notice where I put curly brace, curly brace capital F, first name, and I put that in the curly brace, 
That's because that's what my column header says in my spreadsheet. So you see here it says first name and then over here it matches. So I want to make sure that this matches exactly and exactly spelled right with the space that the column header matches what's over here in the spreadsheet. The other one that you want to make sure you have is email address. Email address. Let me make this font larger so that you can see that you want to make sure you have an email address column. Now, over here on the right-hand side, I have already installed Mergo. If you don't have it, go to Add-ons and come down and choose Get Add-ons, and then you can install Mergo, and you're going to be able to see that it shows up right over here. So all you need is a spreadsheet. Now, this might be from a Google Form. So you have people fill out a Google Form, so you have the timestamp, you have their name, you have their email address, that's super important, you have their email address, and you have other things. So maybe the students took a Google Forms quiz and you want to email them back what the results and feedback are. So in the spreadsheet, I add a column, I put in my feedback, and then I run Mergo to send each student an individualized report that contains how they did on the quiz along with the feedback that I left them. You could do that too. Just make sure each column header is different because otherwise they'll get confused. So you have two of them with the same heading. It's like, well, which one am I supposed to use? So make sure each of those are unique and that the email column says email address. All right, cool. So all I have to do is click over here on the right and select the Mergo and you'll see that it pops up and it's literally this easy that I just click mail merge. So I'm going to click that in the side. Here it comes thinking about it. All right, and right here it says select a Gmail draft because you'll notice that I did not send this. I didn't have any recipients. It just automatically saves as a draft. Like most Google things, there's no save button. So when I start making an email in Gmail, it just saves it as a draft. And since this is the most recent one I did, it's going to come up right in Mergo like, hey, you just made this email draft. Do you want to use this one? If that's not the one that you want to use, notice the tiny triangle so you can drop that down and choose a different email that you had started. So notice here I have email column. It should say email address. You can change the sender to building admin. You can put change the name in there if you want. And then all you have to do is click the button to send the emails. It is that easy. Step one, create an email. You've got to know about the merge tags. That's the trickiest part. And then you have to have a spreadsheet that has email addresses. That's the most important because you can't send emails without a valid email address. And then you have other columns and all the column headers are valid for your merge tags. So even if it's from a Google form, you could then merge this and send off a personalized email based on the form. And so Mergo, you're going to install that from the add-on menu. Super easy to use.